how does this house work? You use it as a studio and as a gallery and as a home? That's right. And the different floors are for the different... Um, they, they change um, depending on the, on the day or the, like a wedding cake, and a, like a Chinese wedding cake. So you can switch them around. Is there still a, a, a black basement? Everything is white and the basement is black? How do you know my basement is black? You, you... At some point you said that you had this idea of doing a pawn production down there? We did a pawn production down there already. And so, so we we've, we've did it and done it. So um, you're working mainly with, with, with white and then some black? Lots of white and a little bit of black. I can never explain this. It's calming uh -huh. to me. And my favorite flowers are white chrysanthemums. Mm -hmm. The way you, you are doing art, to me it seems very close to a ritual, like a magical practice. Um, I, can, I, I, I personally can't do any magic myself. I, I wish I could. I wish I could change time, but, but, I, but I can't. So, I, I, so, so uh, it's the closest thing to magic for me. Mm -hmm. You would like to change time in which sense? Probably backwards. Hans Meyer, stop drinking the, wo the goat from the golden cup. You're gonna go back in time. You're, you're gonna go back to. You're gonna go back to the um, the Baroque period. Would be your favorite time, Baroque. I would say so, because of the intricacies of of mannerism. I believe in that time. Do you have daily routines? Yes, I do. I wake up. Um, I put put um, water into my microwave and microwave it for one minute because because I like drinking hot water in the morning. And then while it's microwaving, I brush my teeth and then I put on my contacts because I'm quite blind and because I need to put on my sunglasses because. Uh, oh, most kind of lights scare me. And then by the time I finish that, my water is ready and I drink it. And then I eat a grapefruit, usually, almost every day, unless I'm stuck in a plane somewhere. And, and then it's, it's mostly thinking. I don't really do much. Oh, and sleeping pills. I need sleeping pills. So, to sleep. Um, I always say better living through chemistry. So, so imagine a time, a combination of rock and chemistry. It could be a, yeah, a very happy future. It's a, and it's a very cliche view of a happy future with um, lots of trees and less humans and equal amount of animals and, and, and petting lions and it's almost a biblical future, and rabbits running around, and deers. You said that, unfortunately, you, you are not a ma magician. No. Um, but you're, sometimes you're using magical practice. Um, I mean, I, at least I saw, I saw a video of you on, on YouTube, where you were sitting with Lady Gaga, and you were putting pearls into a cup. And it was about the number 88. I'm, I'm not sure where 88 came from. I think I just like, I just like the number 88. Because, because, they, because I'm superstitious and they, they look like infinity loops to me. You, you did a performance as well with, with Lady Gaga in, in Tokyo, is that right? That's right. And what did you do there? I'm not sure what I did. <laughs> we, I, I dressed her, I did. We sang together. I'm not, I'm not a great singer. She's a great singer, but I can't sing. And how did you dress uh, each other? Just, just like kids, like with lots of fabric, like just planting it on ourselves and like getting fabric and wrapping around ourselves like, like children would do. Could you imagine to, to become, I mean, popular as her? No. I, I would I'd rather be 
a little less, a little less obscure, a little more obscure. Well, I would hope everybody will want to understand my work. So, so I would like to j just the 99% populism, populism of a pop star. <laughs>